Hello everybody, my name is Benji and welcome back to Satisfactory. Today we are back over on the Gold Coast for another tutorial. Today I am going to be walking you through step by step how to make circuit boards purely from oil with zero waste. Now, there are many ways to make circuit boards. Many, many alternate recipes to make circuit boards. Some are better than others, some are more efficient than others, and some would say that the recipe I'm going to be showing you today, this one, is the worst circuit board recipe in the entirety of the game. And I can see why people would say that, because it takes a lot of oil to make not a lot of circuit boards. However, it saves on other resources, such as copper or keterium, this one just doesn't even use oil at all, so that's another recipe you could use to have wasteless circuit boards. But I'm going to be talking about this one, the electrode circuit board. And the reason why is because it has its uses. Over here on the Gold Coast, I have used this recipe a lot. <laughs> I used it for 20 per minute circuit boards, which I will be showcasing today in just the raw give me circuit boards at my storage facility. I used it in circuit boards for the high speed connectors. I used it in circuit boards for the Caterium computers. I've used it in circuit boards for uh, the supercomputer factory over in the blue crater lake over this way. I have used this recipe a ton, and it is great for places like this and places like the Crater Lake where you have an abundance of oil, nothing else to do with it, and not a whole lot of other resources. The nearest copper to this location is either going to be the one node over there or a couple of nodes over there. The other recipes for circuit boards, you'll notice it hasn't pinged yet. The other recipe for circuit board is Caterium. And yeah, there's a Caterium node, you can kind of see the belt right over there. It's directly on the Gold Coast, right here. And that would work as well, but I was already using enough Caterium in other processes, so I decided to use this recipe. Now, this video isn't really going to go into very much detail and depth about which recipe is better, which recipe is not better. You guys can figure that out for yourself depending on where you're building and the availability of resources in this very vast, well-explored map. Today I'm going to be showing you the electrode circuit board. So this is going to require a couple of different alternate recipes, and once again with the packager loop or fuel loop for the heavy oil residue, you're either going to need a blender or you're going to need the alternate fluid transport in tier 5 or 6, one of the two, in order to package and unpackage liquids. Now, if you go the unpackage and package liquids method, which does not require the blender, you are going to need the recycled rubber alternate recipe, the rubber recipe, petroleum coke recipe, plastic recipe, and then you're going to need the diluted packaged fuel alternate recipe as well. That's where the packager loop comes in. If you're using the blender, which is what I'm going to be showcasing today, you're going to need the diluted blend fuel recipe for the blender. So without further ado, let's go on ahead and take us into step one. An alternate recipe that I forgot to mention that you will need for this is the actual electrode circuit board alternate recipe, which is made in an assembler. So the first step here is three refineries for straight up producing rubber. That is what you need in this, and we'll talk about the heavy oil residue in a second. The two things that you need for this circuit board recipe are petroleum coke and rubber. This gets you half of the rubber that you need for the build, which is 60. We need 120 total. We'll get the other 60 from recycling. So these three are going to produce 60 heavy oil residue and 60 rubber. The rubber is what we want. The heavy oil residue is also what we want. So we're going to take another row of refineries right here and we're going to turn that heavy oil residue straight into petroleum coke 
one of these is going to be on 50%. Because this one does 40 per minute, we're making 60, so this one needs to do 20 per minute. I'm going to go belt and pipe all of this together. You do that how you see fit, I'll do it how I see fit to each their own, and we'll move on to the next step, which is the recycling portion. The next portion of the build is the recycling. So we're going to need to take plastic, one of these, yet again on 50%. We need 30 plastic total because that's going to get doubled in the recycling process, just like this. Then we're going to need a blender. And you can put the blender really however orientation you want. You could put it up here. You could put it really anywhere you want. I am going to do things a little oddly here. Well, actually, I'll do things the way that I usually do them. In terms of how I build this myself. And that is by putting this refinery near those. And this one is going to be handling the recycled rubber. It's going to be perfectly 100% clocked. No need to do anything else of that matter. And then I put the blender in line with it right about here. Or somewhere else along those lines. Some way, shape, or form to be able to allow for the fuel that this produces to go around the back and into the system. Now we need this on 30% because we only need 30 fuel and we're only processing 15 heavy oil residue. This is producing 5, this is producing 10. And you're going to need a water extractor as well for this process because the diluted blend fuel requires water as an input. You can handle that however you like, I'm just going to handle it by putting a water extractor. Technically you should underclock it, but I'm not going to bother with that at the moment. Then you're going to run the fuel pipe from the front of this around and into the back of this. You're gonna run the plastic from these two across and into this as well. And then you're going to merge the rubber from here. I'm gonna rip it around the back and straight into this merger along with the rest of the rubber. And those will combine at the end, which I will show you shortly. So go on ahead, build all of this together. I will as well, again, to each their own on how you want to do this. This is just a basic suggestion layout and what buildings you're going to need. Also, I should mention now, this is scalable. I have done this kind of build for, I forget how many that is, but it's 14 assemblers, 14 times five. Let's do quick math, 70 circuit boards the system works. 20 circuit boards, the system works. 40 circuit boards, the system works. Over at the supercomputers, 85 circuit boards, the system works. You just need to scale it up, do some rough number calculations in terms of how many actual circuit boards you need. If you're playing this game, you should be able to do that kind of calculation based off of what I've given you. So once again, go on ahead and build this together. I will as well, and I'll see you at the end. With your two belts at the final position, wherever you may choose and however you may choose, for me, they are both right here, you're going to run these into four assemblers. And these four assemblers, if you're wondering how I just did that magic right there, smart mod. Definitely look into it. You're gonna belt all four of the assemblers together in whichever way and however you see fit. Yet again, to each their own. My method is being stubborn. And then select the recipe just as you would always. I've run out of foundation space. Love the auto saves, don't you guys? And with that, you are all done.
Now, here's the part where you're gonna say, but Benji, the other recipes are better because this system requires 135 oil per minute to turn into 20 circuit boards per minute. Yes, that's a lot of oil. I mentioned that at the beginning. However, it does have its uses in certain areas. Now, at this point, you're done with buildings. Buildings have all been placed. Everything has been wired together, or well, belted and piped together. All you need to do now is hook in the power and I'll give you a proof of concept. As I am connecting these last power lines, everything will start to come to life. And we will see things beginning to work their magic. There goes plastic. There goes rubber. More plastic. And everything at this point just takes time to warm up. The water is going, everything else is good. We are simply waiting on everything to warm up properly. More specifically than that, we are waiting on these pipes to fill up with heavy oil residue and for everything to begin to work properly. This will be the first machine to turn on for the petroleum coke. How did that happen? Anyway, with the proof of concept, you will see 20 right there. With 180, 120, all green lines. I don't know why that one's not... Well, it's not telling me because it doesn't know what's in the pipe yet. But the heavy oil residue, 60 and 60. This heavy oil residue, 15 and 15. Plastic, 30 and 30. It still doesn't have any fuel in it because this takes forever to actually work. Once it actually has fuel in it, it'll light up green. And just like that, we've got our circuit boards. So, that is everything I have for you today. 20 per minute circuit boards, purely from oil and water. Technically, there is two inputs to the system, oil and water, but water is everywhere. Everywhere you look here, there is very few spots that water is rare slash inaccessible, with the exception of the Dune Desert, which I haven't been to yet. Water is super easy to come by, so this system pretty much only uses oil. But that is all I have for you lovely people today, so thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I hope that you found this tutorial helpful in some way, shape, or form. I hope that it comes in handy in your factories. But without further ado, adios, sayonara, au revoir, hasta la vista, dos vidania, evidizian, ciao! And goodbye, have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Later.